Uh, I'm Conrad Carding. I'm a neural data scientist from Northwestern University, which is in Chicago, Illinois. So if we're to understand how the brain works, the ultimate answer of it has to be something that is like a theory. No? It needs to be something that I can explain to you. And therefore, what we need is a way of taking all the data that we get in in neuroscience and converting it into something that's communicable and something that allows us to really understand what's going on. And that's not possible with that theory. So I think right at the moment it's very important to develop new data analysis techniques. Neuroscience, in particular with the Brain Initiative, is producing bigger and bigger data sets. And if you have bigger data sets, you will want to use different questions, answer different questions. And I don't think we have even really started making sense out of big data sets, and we will need to find the right questions. And I think therefore developing data analysis methods that get at the structure in the data is really interesting. So, so, so it's hard to say. We're just at the beginning of that strong and tighter collaboration between computation, theory, and, neuro, uh, and experimental neuroscience. But I think there's a couple of techniques that are universally used. Say, li uh, generalized linear models are often used to now understand what neurons do. You have models of networks of neuronal interactions that are being fed to the data. And you have the multivariate data analysis techniques that, say, the field in fMRI uses. So all these fields, we need those data analysis techniques to make progress already today and in the future we will need to go towards much more complicated models. All right, so final question. What do we need to bring the theorists and experimentalists together? Uh, the answer is very clear, free beer. <laughs> thank you, thank you.